Welcome to the today's GK program. Let's begin with the previous day question. And the question was, consider the following statements regarding Five Eyes Alliance. Statement 1. It is an intelligence sharing arrangement among the US, UK, Canada, Australia and India. And statement 2. Under this, intelligence agencies of these five countries share signal, military and human intelligence among themselves. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? Options were A1 only, B2 only, C both 1 and 2 or D neither 1 nor 2. And the answer was option D neither 1 nor 2. Recently, the US ambassador to Canada David Cohen has now said in an interview with Canada's CTV that it was shared intelligence among five eyes partners that helped lead Canada to the claims that PM Trudeau made. The term Five Eyes refers to an intelligence sharing alliance of the United States, United Kingdom, Australia, Canada and New Zealand. And statement 1 is not correct. The Five Eyes Agreement stand out from other arrangements because the parties are diverse societies governed by rule of law and robust human rights and are bonded by a common language. The Five Eyes countries engage in intelligence gathering and security cooperation aligning closely in recent years due to shared interests such as addressing the rise of China. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Okay, let's start today's session. And the question 1 is, Sometimes seen in the news, the conservation of foreign exchange and prevention of smuggling activities or COFEPOSA Act 1974 allows for the detention of a person in case of A. Abetting smuggling B. Robbery, C. Human trafficking, or D. Arms trafficking. And the correct answer is option A. Abetting smuggling. Recently, the Madras High Court quashed a detention order issued under the Conservation of Foreign Exchange and Prevention of Smuggling Activities Act 1974 against a practicing lawyer ordering this release. This act was passed by the Parliament on 13 December 1974 to provide for prevention detention in certain cases for the purposes of conservation and augmentation of foreign exchange and prevention of smuggling activities and for matters connected therewith. Under the ambit of this Act, the central government or the state government or any joint secretary of central government and secretary of state government can order the detention of a person, including a foreigner. The detention can be made in case of smuggling, abetting smuggling, transport concealing, storing, persons involved in smuggling and dealing in smuggled goods. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question. Regarding the recent archaeological findings at the UNESCO World Heritage Site, Bogaskoy Hatusha in Turkey considered the following statements. Statement 1. This site, Bogaskoy Hatusha, was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in the year 2001. Statement 2. The dominant language found at the Bogaskoy Hatusha site is Hiti, which is the oldest attested Indo-European language. And Statement 3. The new language discovered from the excavation site is associated with the region of Kalasma, possibly located in the present-day Bolu or Gered. How many statements given above is or are correct? Options are A only 1, B only 2, C all 3 or D none. And the answer is option B only 2. Recently, an excavation in Turkey has brought to light an unknown Indo-European language. This site, Bogaskoy Hatusha, was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1986, not in 2001. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. Hiti is the dominant language at the Bogaskoy Hatusha site and is the oldest attested Indo-European language in the passage. Hence, statement 2 is correct. The new language discovered in the recent excavation is identified as the language of the land of Kalasma. The region is suggested to be in the vicinity of present-day Bolu or Greed. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Let's move on to the next question. Consider the following statements regarding the Jhelum River. Statement 1. It originates at the Verinag Spring at Anantnag. Statement 2. It flows through Dal Lake. And Statement 3. Its largest tributary is the Kishanganga River. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? A. Only 1. B. Only 2. C. All 3. Or D. None. And the correct answer is Option C. All 3. Recently, the water level of Jhelum and its tributaries have fallen drastically owing to the dry weather conditions prevalent in Kashmir Valley. 
The Jhelum River, known as Vet in Kashmiri, Vitasta in Sanskrit, and Hyder Space in Greek, is the main waterway of the Kashmir Valley. It originates at the Verinag Spring at Anantnag, at the foot of the Pir Panjal Range in the Kashmir Valley. Hence, statement one is correct. It then flows via Srinagar and Vular Lake prior to entering Pakistan. Hence, statement two is not correct. The largest tributary of the Jhelum is the Kishan Ganga or Neelam River. Which joins near Muzaffarabad and enters the Punjab province, Pakistan. Hence, statement three is also correct. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question. Recently seen in the news, the IUCN status of the Bolson tortoise is critically endangered, endangered, extinct, or vulnerable. And the answer is option A, critically endangered. Recently, the Bolson tortoises were seen in the news in connection with the conservation efforts in North America. The Bolson tortoise. Or Gopherus flavo marginatus is the largest and rarest of five species of land tortoise native to North America. Prehistorically, its range extended throughout the Chihuahuan Desert from West Texas to southwestern Arizona and Oklahoma to August Calientes, Mexico. Its current range is restricted to discontinuous basins in the Mapimi sub-province of North Central Mexico. The current IUCN status of the Bolson tortoise is critically endangered. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question. Recently seen in the news, the Mount Semeru volcano is located in which of the following countries: Peru, Malaysia, Japan, Indonesia. And the right answer is option D, Indonesia. Recently, the Mount Semeru volcano in Indonesia's East Java province has erupted. The Semeru or Mount Semeru is an active volcano located in East Java, Indonesia. Semeru, also known as the Great Mountain, is the highest volcano in Java and one of the most active. The Semeru volcano is also part of the island arcs formed by the subduction of the Indo-Australian plate below Sunda plate, or part of the Eurasian plate. Indonesia, with the maximum number of active volcanoes in the world, is prone to seismic upheaval due to its location on the Pacific's ring of fire. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Let's move on to the next question. Consider the following statements regarding the Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana. Statement one: It aims at enhancing fish production by the additional 50 lakh tons by 2025-26. And statement two: It is being implemented by the Ministry of Ports, Shipping, and Waterways. You have to select the correct statement with the help of the given options. And options are A one only, B two only, C both one and two, or D neither one nor two. And the answer is option D neither one nor two. Recently, the Department of Fisheries has sanctioned 732 artificial reef units for 10 coastal states, with a total investment of rupees 126 crore as a sub-activity under Integrated Modern Coastal Fishing Villages of the centrally sponsored scheme of Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana or PMMSY. It is a flagship scheme for focused and sustainable development of the fisheries sector in the country. It aims at enhancing fish production by the additional 70 lakh tons by 2024-25. Hence, statement one is not correct. The Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying is the nodal ministry. Hence, statement two is not correct. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question. Sometimes seen in the news, the Virangana Durgavati Tiger Reserve is located in which of the following: Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, or Karnataka? And the correct answer is option B, Madhya Pradesh. Recently, the Madhya Pradesh government announced the establishment of the Virangna Durgavati Tiger Reserve, marking the seventh tiger reserve in the state and the fifty-fourth in the country. It is spread across Sagar, Damoh, and Narsingpur districts of Madhya Pradesh. It is the seventh tiger reserve in Madhya Pradesh. It will encompass areas within the Noradhi Wildlife Sanctuary and Durgavati Wildlife Sanctuary. A few parts of the reserve fall under the Narmada and Yamuna river basins. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question: Which of the following is not a part of I two U two group recently seen in the news? United States, India, United Arab Emirates, Iran. And the answer is option D, Iran. Recently, the I two U two group announced a new joint space venture that aims to create a unique space based tool for policymakers, institutions, and entrepreneurs. It is a grouping of India, Israel, the United Arab Emirates, and the United States. The group was initially formed in October 2021 to deal with issues concerning infrastructure, transport, and maritime security in the region. It was originally named the International Forum for Economic Cooperation. It was also known as the West Asian Quad at the time. The group held their first virtual summit in July 
Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question. Consider the following statements regarding the foot and mouth disease. Statement 1. It is a transboundary animal disease. And statement 2. It is caused by virus. Which of the following statements is or are correct? A. 1 only. B. 2 only. C. Both 1 and 2. Or D. Neither 1 nor 2. So, the right answer is option C. Both 1 and 2. Recently, the Chandigarh administration vaccinated over 21,000 livestock against foot and mouth disease or FMD. It is a highly contagious viral disease that affects cloven-hoofed animals including cattle, sheep, goats and pigs. It is a transboundary animal disease or TAD that deeply affects the production of livestock and disrupts regional and international trade in animals and animal products. Hence, statement 1 is correct. It is caused by the foot and mouth disease virus, which is a member of the Picorna viride family. Hence, statement 2 is correct. It is a disease of animals, not humans, and is a different disease than hand, foot and mouth disease, which is common in young children. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Let's move on to the last question. Recently, which of the following UNESCO World Heritage Sites has achieved the milestone of becoming India's first green energy archaeological site? Shor Temple, Mamallapuram. Monuments at Hampi, Brihadeshwara Temple or Nilgiri Mountain Railway? And the correct answer is option A, Shor Temple, Mamallapuram. Recently, the historic Shor Temple in Mamallapuram, a renowned UNESCO World Heritage Site, has achieved a significant milestone by becoming India's first green energy archaeological site. This has been made possible through the successful implementation of the Green Heritage Project, a collaborative initiative between the Renault Nissan Technology and Business Centre India or Renault Nissan Tech and Hand in Hand in India or HIH. The Shore Temple in Tamil Nadu is a historic temple complex located in Mamallapuram or Mahabalipuram dedicated to Lord Shiva and Lord Vishnu. It was constructed by Raj Simha of Pallava dynasty. It is a structural temple built by placing blocks of rock one above the other just as we use bricks to construct modern day buildings. Therefore, option is the correct answer. Okay, it's time for the practice question. Among the following sites, where were the teachings of Lord Buddha were recorded for the first time on palm leaves? And the options are A. Metal rock cut caves B. Karla caves C. Kanheri caves or D. Bhaja caves So, that's it for today. Don't forget to answer in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next session. Till then, Jai Hind!